how to find the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix consider a 3 by 3 matrix matrix a if you choose to expand the first row the determinant is equals to a11 c11 plus a12 c12 plus a13 c13 when we find the core factor please pay attention to the changing of sign the sign of core factor is determined by the result of i plus j which is number of row plus number of column if i plus j is an even number the result of negative 1 raised to an even number is always positive if negative 1 raised to odd number let's say i plus j is an odd number is result to negative for example c11 what is the sign of this core factor negative 1 raised to 1 plus 1 which is 2 m11 is positive m11 while c12 is equal to negative 1 1 plus 2 is 3 m12 is equal to negative m one two and then c one three is negative one raised to power four m one three where negative one raised to power four four is an even number is positive m one three let's carry on a one one is one so c one one is positive m one one while c12 is negative m12 so is negative 0 times m12 plus a13 is 3 so 3 times with c13 positive m13 to find m11 first block first row and first column remain 2115 so 1 times 2115 minus 0 times minus 1 2 is 0 plus 3 m13 block first row last column we have negative 1 2 3 1 Evaluate each minor. 2 times 5 is 10. Minus 1, minus 0, plus 3. Negative 1 times 1, negative 1. Minus 3 times 2 is equals to. This is 9, minus 0. Negative 7, 3 times negative 7, negative 21 is equals to negative 12. We also can find the determinant by expand another column or row. For instance, um, we try to expand the first column. Then its determinant is equal to a11 c11 plus a21 c21 plus a31 c31 then because this 1 plus 1 is even number so we have a11 positive m11 and then 2, 1, 2 plus 1 is 3 is an odd number so we have negative a21 m21 and then 3 1 is an, a positive so is we have positive a31 c uh, m31 
so a11 is 1 m11 block the first row first column to 115 a121 a21 is negative so times negative 1 m21 block the second row first column we have 0 3 1 5 a 3 1 is 3 and 3 1 block third row and first column you have 0 3 2 1 now evaluate each determinant is equals to 2 times 5 is equals to 10 minus 1 negative time negative is positive 0 times 5 is 0 minus 1 times 3 is 3 is 0 This is 0 minus 3 plus 3. 0 times 1 is 0 minus 2 times 3 is 6. So this is 9, negative 3. Uh, 3 times negative 6, negative 18. This equals to negative 12. We have same answer for both. Uh, therefore, we say uh, to find determinant, we can expand any rows and any rows or columns. Columns. So, how to choose the suitable rows or column if any rows or column exceeds zero. For example, the row one exceeds zero, then it's more easier to choose the particular rows or column with the element of zero. Why? This is because we can skip one calculation if that element is zero. For instance, if we choose to explain row first row we can skip one calculation because any numbers times zero the result is zero so it's more easier to choose any rows or columns with zero if exists